We did have some moderate growth on the mosquito fire yesterday, so we're up over 41,000 acres, but we did also gain in containment, which is now up to 10%, and you can see where we have that containment, shown by the black line around this fire perimeter. Now we do still have a lot of red line, although we are expecting that to increase in the days ahead, and we've completed a large number of dozer lines around Forest Hill, so that's some good news in that area. Now on the Mosquito Fire, we do have a number of evacuation orders and warnings still in place, so it's always important to stay updated with the local resources in that regard. But when we look at the activity that we've seen throughout the day, there's been two major factors. We've had that moisture continuing to push in from what was Hurricane K, and you can actually see some thunderstorm activity building into the Sierra right now. That moisture has helped calm down the fire throughout the day today, and then also calm winds allowed the smoke just to settle over the fire, almost producing a bit of a shading effect, keeping our temperatures lower than they otherwise would have been, and our relative humidity higher. Now with that being said, as we've gotten into the afternoon hours where temperature does go up and relative humidity does go down, meaning it gets drier, we have seen some increase in fire activity, but I'm expecting that to drop back down again tonight when a lot of that moisture builds back in, and we could have 60% relative humidity. Now when it comes to the fire itself, most of the activity recently has been on the eastern edge of the fire. Makes a lot of sense considering our winds are coming from the southwest trying to push that fire towards the northeast. And then that could actually be viewed as some good news because when it comes to our structures, most of them are on the western side of this fire. So the winds right now seem to be pushing the fire away from the largest amount of structures. Now it's also been due to some of the great help that we've had from the 1,808 personnel on this fire. And then the big question mark as we move forward is there's even more thunderstorm activity expected tomorrow. So we're gonna have to stay tuned to see what happens here. And for you to stay tuned, you can subscribe to Holt Hanley Wildfire Forecasting on YouTube.